guys, I'm Samina and welcome to the Cupcake Confession where I show you how you can learn to make amazing decadent desserts and sweet treats. If this is something that you enjoy, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And while you do that, also don't forget to ding this little bell button. That way you will be notified every time I post a new recipe. Guys, today finally I'm showing you how to make chocolate buttercream frosting. I know a lot of you have been requesting this recipe since a very long time. So today is the day and I'm also showing you how you can customize this chocolate buttercream frosting to really suit your preferences, to make different kinds of frostings. Now here is a Nutella frosting. I'm going to show you exactly how I made this from scratch. Here you go. Now, uh, to make this frosting, we are following the boiled milk buttercream technique itself. But instead of milk, I'm adding chocolate flavored milk. So that really adds on to the chocolate flavor or the intensity increases. To that, I'm adding some dark chocolate. Now, you could also add some caster sugar here if you want it sweeter. My personal preference is to have it a little bitter. Uh, basically, I like a bitter flavor in the frosting, so I'm just going to leave that out. But I've included sugar in the recipe. It's in the description box below. If you feel like it's not uh, needed, you can just skip it or uh, you can add the sugar as well. Now, after the chocolate has dissolved into uh, the milk on low heat, I'm going to turn the heat off and add my all-purpose flour. It's very important to turn the, turn the heat off when you're adding the all-purpose flour into this chocolate milk and melted dark chocolate mix because it ensures that your mix is not cooking further and the lumps are easily dissolved into this. You get ample time to rigorously whisk this so as to get rid of any lumpy bits in the pudding mix which will become a pudding basically so that's what you're looking for it really gets really silky velvety smooth so once that has happened we'll turn the heat on and on medium low heat we're just going to keep stirring this constantly now a lot of you also i noticed have said that you know it catches at the bottom the trick here is to keep the heat on medium low and keep whisking it all the time because if you stop whisking it's going to just catch at the bottom it will become lumpy and thick uh, so as you can see now in the video you can have a look at how it's starting to thicken up so once that happens you're going to keep cooking this for about two minutes that's what the consistency will get to it will suddenly become really really thick so keep keep whisking it all the time and at the end of two to two and a half minutes you're going to take it off the heat and you're going to transfer it to a plate or a bowl for it to cool completely you can see how thick it has become and as it cools down it's literally going to become like a pudding so that's exactly what we want because that will add on to the fluffiness. You will wait till the pudding mix cools down to room temperature. You do not want to add that to this butter right now which I am beating on low speed till it just smooths out. This also is at room temperature. Now what happens if you add hot mix, hot pudding mix which hasn't cooled sufficiently? It will melt the butter and it's just going to be a soupy mess. It's not going to become a frosting. So very important that both the butter and your pudding mix are at room temperature when you're making this. I divided this pudding mix into four equal parts and I'm adding a little at a time. So I added the first part and then on medium speed, I'm just whisking this till it sort of becomes uniform. Then I will add a little bit more of that pudding mix. And again, on medium speed, I'm just going to keep mixing it until it becomes nice and uniform again. Now, it's very important to use a spatula. As you can see, there are some spare bits of butter that have not mixed well with the frosting. So very important that you use your spatula, go along the sides and bottom of the bowl and then you're going to add the next installment and keep repeating until all your pudding mix has been used up. Once that happens, you're going to crank up the speed to high and keep whisking this or beating this for a full two minute period. Very important because that adds on to the fluffiness of this frosting and as you can see it's already starting to look so silky smooth. I'm going to show you what it looks like from a closer view like look at that frosting. I'm going to beat this for another minute so a total of two minutes. Also scrape the sides and bottom. Now just have a look at that silky frosting. It is so smooth, so delicious and it's just perfect um, on your layer cakes and your cupcakes. It frosts really well. Now here's how you customize it. You add whatever you want into this. Yes, guys. So you could add some cocoa powder. Here I've added some Nutella. So you could add Nutella. You could add peanut butter and make it into peanut butter and chocolate frosting. Oh my God, guys, the possibilities here are absolutely endless. And look at how stable that buttercream is even after adding the Nutella. 
and I'm going to frost this just so you can have a look at the sharp ridges of my Wilton 6B tip and the frosting is retained. Here I've added some cocoa powder. Uh, this is my chocolate, uh, eggless chocolate cupcake recipe which I posted last week. The link will appear in the description box below and also on the screen. So here I've only added some cocoa powder and just look how stable this frosting is. Guys, this is one of the basic chocolate buttercream frostings that you need in your baking arsenal. If you have any comments or suggestions, pop them down in the comments below. I post a new recipe every Tuesday, so if this is something that you enjoy and if you want to be notified every time I post a new recipe, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you do that, also don't forget to ding this little bell button. I'll see you again next time. Bye!